working on a 90% furnace, you're going to have this problem quite a bit. I'm going to show you what to do. So we're going to take red and we're going to touch it to white. Inducer motor comes on. And then what happens next is we have a light. One, one, two, three. So what does that mean? We go over here. So it says vent intake or termination problem. So we have a pressure switch likely that's not closing and that is because we have an issue with either the intake or the exhaust. Okay, so fresh air and exhaust. So what do we do? I would first take the line off of the collector box, okay? And make sure there's no water in it and make sure the drain's not stopped up because of course, if the drain is full and that collector box is full, then we're not gonna be able to pull a vacuum. Next, I'm gonna take this pipe off and then see if the unit lights and there could be something in the inducer housing itself or the ends of where these uh, two vent pipes terminate outdoors, there could be something inside if there's no screen on the outlet. So let's take this right here loose. Looks like the gas line's in front of it. That's perfect. Got a couple quarter inch screws. All right, once you get that loose, then this pipe right here will come out. And let's see if it lights now. All right. Take and lift the pipe up, touch red to white. Let's see if we have that coat again. Ah, our code is still appearing. One, two, three. All right, so it's got nothing to do with this pipe here. Now, what do we do next? Well, we probably need to check our pressure switches. All the safeties are in series right here. See, pressure switch one, pressure switch two. So 24 volts comes into one pressure switch and then it goes through the other pressure switch. So before we use our meter and check the pressure switches, I'm going to check the tube. So, oh, a little water I see. Huh. I wonder. Oh, okay. We got water in there. I bet you it closes now. Make sure it's not stopped up. All right, now, red to white. Still got the light. Oh. No more light. There we go. So I'm guessing this filled up with water and we got water in that tube and that's what kept that pressure switch from closing. So I got a new 90% furnace that was just installed and you can see we got two drains. We got one with a trap right here from the evaporator coil or indoor coil. And then we got another drain right here coming from the collector box. Okay. And the inducer motor is mounted on the collector box. And this unit is not draining water properly. Otherwise, we would not have had any water buildup right there. So, what's the problem? Well, we don't have enough fall right here on this pipe. So, I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to take the strap off there, and then I'm going to lower it. That way, we got enough fall so there's no water staying in this collector box. So, I'll just take off these clamps here, and then I'll be able to lower that drain line right here so it won't hold water because if it holds water then of course we're not going to be able to pull a vacuum and our pressure switch is going to keep uh, opening up and not closing properly so and whenever this uh, LED light flashes six times which is what's happening it's an indication that we have either a vent blocked 
or a pressure switch issue or an inducer motor issue. So let me show you that real quick. So it was flashing six times, which means repeated three red. So it repeated this three times. So vent intake or termination problem, or you know, it could be something to do with the pressure switch. So uh, it was flashing three times and then it did that three times. So repeated three red. Okay, all right, let's get it fixed. All right, all the clamps are loose. Oh, that should do it right there. Perfect. Now we've got some fall. You can see it's no longer going uphill or just level. It's got a little slant to it. Put a coupling right here and then took the clamps off. And it should be falling all the way from the furnace to the pump. 